welcome to my channel in a previous video i was showing you this combined filament jam and filament runout sensor but while testing it i identified two main issues you stay tuned i will tell you what those issues were and how i fixed them The first issue concerns the arm here. Depending on the curve, you would either press too much on the switch and keep it activated all the time, or it would require too much force to press it and activate the switch. The second issue is also about the arm. This part, the main part, was printed with this side laying flat on the bed, like this. Now, this means that the different layers go horizontally all along the arm here. And when too much pressure is applied, the layers tend to separate and the arm breaks at this level here. You see this break, it is broken at this level here. As you can see here, it is broken. And this weakens the arm. These are the two main issues that I discovered while testing it. And now let's see how I fix these issues. To fix the issue, I've, dis I've designed another version of the filament jam and runner sensor, which is this one. This time there is no level to press. I have the two micro switches here. This one presses on the filament here. This is for the filament runner sensor. And this one presses on this on this arm here, on this slider here. This is for the filament to jam. When the filament is jammed, it pulls the slider upward and it presses the this micro switch here. Okay, just like this and when when it is no longer jumped it moves back that's very simple and here we have the filament runout sensor when the filament is out the lever moves up and when filament is in it moves down to help the filament run smoothly I can add small pieces of PTFE2. I can add one short part here and I can also have about 20 millimeters of PTFE2. I will insert here in this hole. I can push it all the way down. Now I can place the slider and that's okay. And I can put two screws here and here. This can be placed on the printer using this mount here. There's a hole where the wires can go through at the bottom. Insert it like this. And this part is placed on the gantry over the extruder motor. This is how you mount it on the printer. Here we are on the printer, it is printing. Now we are going to simulate a filament to jump by blocking the filament. I block the filament and I wait. 
and there it is it detects the filament to jam now it's unloading the filament we insert the filament back and we press continue it loads the filament and there it is it continues printing let us plug the filament again and there it is the filament jump is also detected again there it is it has resumed printing this time we are going to simulate a filament runout center by cutting the filament now i cut the filament and we wait for the reaction and there it is the filament runout is detected as you can see both the filament runout and the filament jump are detected you will find in the description the links to download all the files about this new version of the filament jam and runoff sensor thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel like and share the video and do not forget to hit the notification bell for further videos thank you very much